Amanda Bynes was a child star famous for acting in television shows and movies. As a child, she starred in All That and The Amanda Show, eventually moving to the big screen. Her biggest films include She's the Man, Hairspray, and Easy Eye. In 2010, her life started to go downhill. She planned on retiring and made the announcement through Twitter, but then quickly changed her mind. 2012 came around and she wanted to become a rapper, but never made that a reality. A year later, Amanda decided that she would attend the Fashion Institute in California, but was swiftly expelled after being under the influence in class and trying to pay peers to do her homework. Jumping from relationship to relationship, Amanda began to, began to find herself in grave situations. Within five months, she was arrested and charged with a DUI and two hit and runs. Her license was suspended for two years with three years probation. Over the next two years, Amanda was constantly getting in trouble with the law, whether it was getting arrested for marijuana possession, throwing a bong out of a window, or starting a fire in a neighbor's driveway, Amanda was no stranger to trouble. Her social media use became wildly bizarre in 2013. Some of her most infamous tweets include, Amanda would constantly show off provocative photos of her new plastic surgery jobs that she was frequently getting. After making herself the main subject, she started attacking other celebrities. From Barack Obama to Jay-Z, her tweets to them were often out of left field and senile. One of her most famous tweets was directed towards Drake. Following many of her inexplicable posts, the public began to take notice. Celebrities and citizens alike would verbally express their opinions on her peculiar behavior, whether it was in magazines or on Twitter. Actress Ashley Benson took to her Instagram to poke fun at Amanda's quizzical behavior, copying one of Amanda's notorious pictures. Her caption read, Doing my Amanda Bynes look this afternoon, which received major backlash from fans and the press. After realizing her error, Benson apologized via Twitter, stating that she was not aware of Amanda's serious situation. Amanda's tweets escalated and she began targeting her family, particularly her dad. They were extremely harsh and defamatory. Although all the details were not explicitly revealed, a judge granted her parents conservatorship over Amanda. This led to a break in her social media use, and she started medication, which her parents facilitated. Eventually, all her old tweets were deleted, and she returned to Twitter, revealing that she was diagnosed as manic depressive with bipolar disorder. Her tweets became more self-centric and positive, and she stopped attacking others. Since then, Amanda Bynes has been a lot better. Her social media use is not as crude and unsophisticated as it used to be, and she is currently getting professional help for her mental illnesses.